Hello everyone. We took a day trip to Elk Island National Park and upon entering, we were quickly greeted by a herd of Plains Bison. Our plan was to hike a 15 kilometer trail, but upon seeing the herd, we decided to park the car for a moment. We were not sure of the exact amount, but probably close to 20 bison in this herd. With the bison this close, and as per normal practice, we stayed in the car and did not get out. As you can see from this shot, they were not far from us at all. The time that this video was shot was in mid-September, which also coincides with their breeding season. You will notice the grunting sound that the males are making. This is basically letting the other males know that they are there and letting others know who's boss. Because of the aggressive behavior of the males, we decided to let this one pass and then drive away, but ran into another group of bison up the road and decided to pull over once again. As you may be able to see, there are bison crossing here, but you'll also notice somebody has parked their car in the middle of the road. Unfortunately, I see this all the time in many parks here in Canada and the US. I understand the awe and fascination people have with wild animals, but pulling over would have been better, and I'm glad that they had stayed in the cart and there was no accident. In the next shot, I could not get my camera out quickly enough to show how fast one impatient driver was going, but as you can see, one bison nearly got hit. Why the 60 km an hour limit in the park? At this point, things appeared to get calmer for both man and bison. After taking a few minutes to look at these guys, we decided it was time to go over to our trailhead. Cool. So cool. <laughs> the trail we chose was the Tawaiak Lake Number 9 Trail, which is 15 kilometers long and takes you around the back country of the park. It says it's about four to five hours. On this day, we were having incredible luck seeing bison. This guy was in a grassy area some distance away. On the way, we found this bench. Watch where you sit. We came around the side to see him still grazing. This was not the last bison that we would see today. In a previous video, I showed some bison rubbing on trees. Here's an example of past rubbing. We found ourselves in a grassy meadow. As with a lot of long backcountry hike trails, we noticed that we were the only people out there and never seen another person. Not really sure what this is, but it could be an old tent caterpillar nest. So we just found a we just found a coyote along the trail here. And we're just trying to see if we can find it. He took a quick look at us and darted into the bush really quick, so I don't think we're gonna be able to see him today. I suspect he's probably gone into the bush here somewhere, but with a almost 15 kilometer hike, we really can't stick around. 
After that, we came upon this mother and calf in an open prairie section. They were far enough away from us, but we decided to proceed along the trail cautiously. Turning around we could see that all was well and we were both going in opposite directions. The wild animals here are fairly used to people, but they're still wild and we never take chances. The trail in this section was a bit difficult to follow with many bison trails going off of it. This shot here is actually after I put the sign back up. How long it stays like that is anybody's guess. After the open prairie section, we found ourselves heading back into the forest. So we just got back uh, through there in the plains. As you can see, there was a couple bison, one calf out, probably born this spring and then the mother. One of the things we were doing was just really going through there slowly and making sure that we weren't startling them. Bison do not have very good vision and you really have to make sure that they see you before you approach and keep walking through. It's basic equipment. Um, we got through carefully, we went through slowly. I wasn't too worried because she mostly had her back to us, but as we got to about this point of her, she started to kind of turn and take a little bit more interest in us but there was no threat. She just wanted to make sure we were continuing on our way, which we did very happily, so all went well. Finding a bison wallow, we checked a nearby sign for our location. However, we were to see one more bison on this day. He came to the end of the service road here and expected to be alone when he came up to the trail. Not expecting to see us, he hightailed it back the other way he came. They are said to reach speeds of up to 50 kilometers an hour, and it was all I could do to capture him here. With no more bison, we decided to continue the rest of our hike. Along the way, we found an interesting mushroom and a beautiful open area. I will point out here that the cup she's holding was actually litter that we found along the trail. We found a beaver den, but no beaver. Today was a bison's day only. But, of course, I can't make a video without one hysterical squirrel. We came up to this sign and found that we were to take the road to the right. Taking this road led us back to the car and the trailhead. I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks so much for visiting the channel.